Hey guys, how's it going? Mike the Tech here. Today I'm going to show you how to make a object or an object in Game Maker Studio to rotate and point towards your mouse's uh, cursor. So point point in the direction of your mouse cursor. So um, I set up a blank project called it Rotation, and I imported a sprite for the player, which is just a ship. You can use whatever your uh, player happens to be. Uh, in the object, I have our ship graphic, but I haven't added any uh, events or codes or anything like that. And the ship graphic I got from Kenny.nl. Uh, if you've watched my other tutorials, you're familiar with him. And um, his assets are great. If you want to go check them out, um, he has plenty of game assets in both 2D and 3D. So just a great resource. Uh, in our room, I just simply place the player in the center of the room. So um, first of all, we're going to add a step event. And the reason we're not going to use a create event is because a create event will only happen once. A step event will continue to happen. So if we set a rotation um, in the create event, it's just going to um, basically happen once, point in that direction, whatever, wherever your mouse is, it'll point at your mouse. But when you start moving your mouse, it's not going to happen anymore. So we have to use a step event so it continues to happen. And the, um, the, the function we're going to use in, in our drag and drop editor is set instance rotation. And I will show you the code for this very shortly with a pretty cool trick. So um, we can choose any angle that we want to rotate our instance. We can go from 0 to 360. So um, what we're actually going to do is choose point underscore direction. And that's a function that will point from one object to another. So um, the way that this one works is we'll choose point direction. And there's four um, four variables, four, four things in this array that have to be added in. We have um, the first object's x and y axis. So we can actually input that now just with x, comma, y. And that's going to give it this object's x and y. Um, now we want to input our mouse's x and y, which is really easy in Game Maker. You just do a comma mouse underscore x, and then a comma mouse underscore y. So now we have our first objects x and y, and then our mouse x and y. And that's pretty simple. Um, when we hit play, however, it's not going to work quite right, because in Game Maker Studio 2, uh, 0 is pointed to the right, and that would, um, in effect, mean that our sprites have to point to the right. But our sprite points upwards. So um, it's not going to point exactly where it needs to point, but we're going to fix that. So as we can see, it's, it's pointed a little bit to the left, not quite in the direction it needs to go, but it is working really well. When we, um, turn, when we move the mouse, we can see that the object is rotating properly and very quickly. So that's good. That's very good news. Um, but what we're going to want to do is after it gets this number, we're just going to manually adjust our rotation to whichever extra push it needs. So a little bit to the left or a little bit to the right. So um, you can play with this yourself if you'd like to. You could say um, plus 90, and then if that doesn't work, plus 180, plus 270, or minus numbers. Uh, in our case, uh, our sprite is pointed up, so we use minus 90, and that will subtract 90 from whatever number it happens to get here. So if it returns 180 degrees, it subtracts 90, and it becomes uh, just 90 degrees. So we'll hit play, and we'll make sure this works before we move on. And if you're just doing drag and drop, uh, you're pretty much done here. This is, this is going to work for you really well. But if you want to learn the code behind it, stay tuned. All right, so now we can see that um, our ship is pointed directly at the mouse. And if you leave the play area, it's not tracked, just like it shouldn't be. And then when you're in the play area, it is tracked. Perfect. So now that that works, we can do uh, something kind of cool. If we right click on the step event, we can say convert to GML. And this is a great learning tool if you want to figure out what um, what certain drag and drop objects uh, do or how they're written in code so that you can rely on them less and less. So after we've created our, our, 
or drag and drop set up here. We'll go to convert to GML and hit OK. And now we have our GML script. So I'm going to comment this and say, uh, well, I'll put two backslashes or uh, four slashes and say rotate to mouse. So um, the way that we do this is um, the instance rotation drag and drop block is simply adjusting the image angle function. So image angle, um, that's our instance's rotation. Um, that's pretty much all it is. So we just write image angle equals and then exactly what we put in uh, the drag and drop box. We have our function for point direction. We have our objects X and Y coordinates and we have our mouses X and Y coordinates and then we subtract 90 to, um, to manually fix that adjustment for our sprite. Uh, you may not have to do 90 if your sprites are already pointed to the right but if uh, you got the sprite from Kenny.nl and you're using the same one I am this can help you avoid having to edit all of your sprites at once. So we'll hit play, and I probably should have hit play a little bit earlier, so it could have loaded while I was talking, but let's just make sure this works in code form, in GML. You can see this isn't too hard at all, it's just um, the stuff we we're gonna write anyway in the uh, drag and drop object, um, but just a little bit easier. So yeah, if we move our mouse around, we now see the code version working just as well. And it's following our mouse in all directions. So yeah, I hope this helped, and thanks for watching. Peace.